Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever thought about doing a sandwich pour, but instead of using white as your sandwich color, using black? Well, I am here to try it today. I was wondering, I um, sandwich pours are a lot of fun. It's a great way to use some, some of your old paints up. Um, so, but I wanted to see what would happen if you actually did use black instead of white. It's gonna create a, a different effect. It won't have that see-through effect because black is not transparent. So you're not gonna get the effect of the uh, sandwich pour like you would with the white. But I still wanna try this. I think it's gonna work. I hope it's gonna work. And if it doesn't, then I've saved you paints and your time. <laughs> if it does work, then fantastic. Let's get down on the canvas and let's start painting. I'll be right back. Let's get started. So today I'm working on a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas that's taped and push pinned on the back. Uh, as I said in my intro, I'm going to test myself and see if we can get a uh, sandwich pour, but using black as the base instead of white. Now I know I'm not gonna get that transparent look through the paint because of black being such a dark color. So you're not gonna get that see-through feel like you would with the white. But in any case, let's get started with the colors and let's just see what happens. If this works, great. If it doesn't, then hey, you get to be along for the ride and you'll know not to try this. <laughs> so what I've got here is my Amsterdam black. I mix uh, my mix pour. Ugh. My pouring medium is mixed pour. I've got seven ounces of mixed pour to about two ounces of paint. That's that color. And not only am I trying something new, I'm also using colors that probably shouldn't even do, but I'm using red, white, and blue. So I'm using phthalo blue. And I didn't have to mix up much because I'm not going to be using a whole lot of the color. Pyro Red. Wonderful. Love the red color. Titanium White. All these colors are Amsterdam, by the way. And then, of course, I'm going to try to use the 24 karat gold by DecoArt. So what I'm going to do is I'll layer in my cup. I'm going to need about 11 ounces of paint. So we'll layer in the cup first and then we'll flood the canvas. So what I'm going to try to do is while keeping the black pretty thick, I am going to try not to use so much of the black. Again, I'm going to need 11 ounces of paint. So let's put a little bit of black here in the bottom. Not much. Now, what color do I want to use on top of this black? I think I'm going to do some white first. So let's put and I'm going to be using a lot of the color. So let's go in with the blue. We'll come in with the gold. Now I got, I'm gonna put the red next to the gold and then I'm gonna put the black on top of the red because I think that might lighten up the red or darken up the red and might give me sort of like a cherry color. We'll see. So we're pouring in another layer of black. Let's go there again. Let's see if we can separate that black a little bit red again Go for some another layer of black.
red. And the black. Okay. Just wanna see how well this technique is going to meld together with these colors. So 16 ounce cup, I've definitely got 11 ounces of paint in here. All right, I'm gonna put some black here. Tilt this around. So I'm gonna tilt or dump my cup here and kind of mess it up and go this direction. All right, one, two, and three. Now this cup is suctioned to the canvas because I don't have a pin in here to release. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly lift up and drag. Let just a little bit out and then move it around. There we go. Move it up, around. Voila. Selling up really nice, giving me a galaxy feel. Now, who knows, I might end up leaving some negative space. We shall see. Big air bubble there. But we are definitely getting a lot of cells. What's great about this is I don't see a lot of purple, which is really good. I thought I might get some purple. Some of the red over here is kind of looking like that cherry red I was talking about. But wow, is this really popping up here, guys. Now, because I'm using mixed pour, I am not going to torch. Most of the weight of the paint is over here. So I'm probably gonna walk this over this way and go off first and then come on back. I don't know if that I'm gonna leave negative space or not, but this is looking really, really pretty. So I am gonna just let this develop. I'll speed you guys up and then come back down to it. So a lot has been happening here with the cells and stuff. So it's really starting to sell up a lot more. I don't wanna get it overdone with cells. So I am gonna go ahead and start tilting. Again, my weight of my paint is right here, so I am gonna go off there and I'm gonna do it very quickly. So let's come down this way. First, come back. Kind of just walking it back and forth. I'm gonna go over that corner quick and back. Back 
back. This is really cool. But talk about Celtastic. I mean, we are, this is almost the equivalent to something that looks like a, um, an open cut pour. The amount of cells that are bubbling up through here. And I mean, we are talking cells like crazy. I'm gonna touch up my sides and edges, get things cleaned up, and then I'm gonna bring you guys in. Okay, here is the wet result. Look at the composition. It is so cool, the waves. Um, this was much better than I anticipated it coming out because I just didn't know what was gonna happen with the sandwich pour technique, but this really came out great. I mean, look at all of the cells that are through this thing. All right, I'll let you guys see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. Okay, here is the dried result. It's still a little bit wet, so I'm gonna do this fairly quickly on the bring you in. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's painting. Wonderful. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, a sandwich pour, but using black instead of white. Loving the effect. I'm loving the composition. Um, so it's still a little bit wet, so I gotta be careful. But that's what this art is all about. Being able to experiment, try new things, see what things work, see what things don't work. I always wondered what a sandwich pour would look like instead of using whites, and now you know. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you're going to be at FAE, I will see you there in just, what, three days? Four days. Four days, I think. So, all right, everyone.
Talk to you later. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.